Hi, this is Kurt Warner, and uh, this is the audio oscillator Laura and I just built, and I'm going to show you some of the things it can do. The oscillator is called the NAND Synth KL1000, and as you can see, it has controls that let, there is a momentary push button switch that lets you turn it on and off, mode. and there's a switch that can bypass that. And there's a master on off switch, and over here, there's a bank of four oscillators, and you can control the frequency of each one using these knobs, and then control the range of each one by using this non-momentary switch here. And when the device is on, these LEDs flash at the frequency each oscillator is oscillating at. This is the inside of the device. As you can see, there's lots of wires and stuff. It's quite complicated. And down here is the integrated circuit that makes the whole thing work. And it's a quadruple NAND gate. One of the gates works for each oscillator. As you can see, I now have it hooked up to an amplifier and turned on. So you can see the LED is blinking at the frequency. Right now it's hooked up to just the first oscillator. And this knob here controls the frequency. You can see how it gets higher and higher in frequency until it finally enters the audio range. This button here changes uh, the range up to, so it's all in the audible range. When you plug the output into the next oscillator, the first one is still running and it's modulating the input for the second oscillator. So you can see how it's pulsing its output at the same frequency it was oscillating at before. You can get some really crazy effects when you put the frequencies near one another. As you move on to the third oscillator, the output from the second one is now modulating its input, so it's uh, three tiers of modulation, and so it gets even more crazy. concept applies to the fourth oscillator and at this point you can get some really crazy effects almost like a drum pattern if you set them at extreme values Anyway, that's all for now, and I will keep you posted as I develop this further. Right now I'm build, working on building a 16-step sequencer to control the synthesizer that I have right now, so you'll actually be able to program patterns into it without having to control everything by hand. So that should be pretty cool, and I will post a video if I ever get that done.